Think Freedom in Sarajevo was installed at the Sarajevo City Hall as a multimedia interactive installation that incorporated sculpture and performance, light and sound, film, video, new media, literary word. It's composed of thousands of elements, each one a sculpture that's actually two strips of metal, like two hands or two messages that connect into the recognizable shape of a bird a symbol known in every culture and every country as a symbol of moving forward, of transitioning, of hoping and dreaming. And more than that, on each sculpture, we write a message that these high school kids send to me about what art and freedom mean to them. We give sculptures life that way. We go into public space, suspend them, and send a very powerful message to the world. When we did this in 2015, Think Freedom was just a small project. But then the first photograph from this installation was published by Associated Press as the global image of the day. And how cool is that? With contemporary art, we got to be the most significant image on the entire planet. The first sculpture, the left Sarajevo, was actually carried in the hands of Pope Francis when he left Sarajevo to go back to the Vatican. And after that, Think Freedom was no longer a small project. We got a call to go to New York and install this installation at Doug Hammarskjöld Plaza in New York on 47th Street. But I wanted more than that. I realized that it wasn't just Bosnia that had to stand up. We all do. I wanted to talk to high school kids all over the world. I wanted to ask them the same question. I wanted to present their messages to different cities and different countries. And I wanted to work with young artists, young high school and architecture students and design students in order for Think Freedom in each city to be unique and authentic to that city so that we can call those cities Think Freedom cities. So right now, in the past couple years, Think Freedom has been traveling. It's been on its journey from Sarajevo to Banja Luka, to Serbia, to Slovenia, to Macedonia, and it will continue to Croatia, to North Europe, Germany and Belgium and Denmark, to South Europe, and then we'll go to Latin America and Asia, Africa and Australia in order for in 2020 to be in New York. To be in New York with 10,000 messages from kids all over the world with messages in different languages, with messages with different ideas, but with the same hope for us to be free.